Welcome to the Mountain West Conference Championship game as the UNLV Rebels come into Laramie to take on the Wyoming Cowboys. The Cowboys are ranked 10th in the nation and are 10-2 overall and 7-1 in conference play. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings going into today's championship game. The Cowboys do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings Going Into Today's Games The current Heisman Trophy watch. The Cowboys' individual stats going into today's game.
And now, the Mountain West Conference Championship game, as the 8-4 UNLV Rebels come into Laramie to take on the 10-2 Wyoming Cowboys. Welcome to what should be a fantastic close to the Mountain West football season. It's the battle for the trophy. We get to crown the champion of the Mountain West Conference here today. This is a surprising matchup. The proverbial David versus Goliath, a ranked versus an unranked team. An opportunity to spring a major upset and build a legacy. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the UNLV Rebels, taking on the winners of six straight, the Wyoming Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Kickoff team out there getting ready, and this is it, the battle for the conference championship trophy. They're returning from inside the 10-yard line. And they stop them at the 23. That's solid coverage. The Rebels offense will be the first up today. And the focus, of course, on this quarterback, Kirk. This guy just has the it factor. He is him, as they say. Well, Chris, we've had a chance to watch this guy closely all year. And I don't know if I've ever seen a kid throw the football like this guy. His awareness in and out of the pocket is special. He's a unique quarterback and a really dynamic player. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Handoff from the shotgun. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Sets up as a third and three here on this opening possession. And they'll give it to the back. He shreds the tackle. What a move. Makes one man miss. Picks up the first down before they stop it. And it's a bunch formation. They'll switch it up here. Looking to throw. Makes a quick grab. Stop right near midfield. It'll be a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Oh, a reverse. Tackled way behind the line. He'll lose six there. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Looking to pass. It's Fernandez. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. They bring the punter onto the field now. Not a very good boot. Sets up the offense in great field position. Leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And a senior making a disruptive impact play. I like how this defense is bringing pressure from all over the field. And that's the key in putting together a good defensive strategy. On this play, it came from the outside linebacker, and he gets to the quarterback. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 22. From the shotgun, drops back. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Tackle made after a big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one on one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. How aggressive do you get on first and 10? Quarterback pre snap adjustments now for this defense. And the running back takes the handoff. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Yeah, the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Looking to throw. It's Foboda. And he dumps it off to the tight end. Good enough for first down yardage. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. And that's a solid gain before the defense is able to bring him down. It's a good, solid gain, five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. 
gain makes it second and medium. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. It's a short completion of the big tight end. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. First down here for this offense. And now the handoff. And they finally stop him, but a decent game that time. Just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Looking to pass here on second down. Heavy pressure, he lets it go. He throws the ball out of bounds. They're smart not to take a sack on that play. Brings up third down. We'll see if the offense can move the chains off that incompletion. He hands it off from the gun. He's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. So the holding penalty in the offense backs him up 10 yards. Now it's third and short from the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Under pressure, just lets it go. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. And this one is right through. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. Yeah, I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Return starts from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The UNLV offense back out on the field now. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Solid gain there. Moves the ball out to the 32. First and 10 play coming up. And the tailback's got it again. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid game. Getting closer to midfield now. It's a solid run. Gives the offense a first down and a new set of downs. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Offense getting set. It's second down. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. That one hurts. Smacks him up 10 yards. Here's the second down play. Looking downfield, it's Fernandez. Jukes to get free. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Third down play for this offense. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Fires it to the wideout. Pass is incomplete, but a penalty marker on the play that should result in a first down. Man, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield when you get a call like this. Second down play coming up.
Handoff here from the shotgun. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Uh, just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. And here comes the punter onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the kick angles out of bounds. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. Settled for a field goal last time out. Can they open things up on this possession? Finding space at the 20. Tackle right at the 30. Good enough to move the sticks. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. Keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off a of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. You get him down at the 41, but that's good enough for a first down. Wyoming has the lead here. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. quarter back at it to start the quarter offense getting set to run a first down play and they hand it off to the back they bring him down just short of the marker inches away from the first down Love those positive yards on first and ten, and it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll raise second and inches, but it sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. Pass complete on a crosser. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, and they're just playing very efficiently right now. Ball handed off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Pulls it in. It's Williams. Hey, Chris, give him credit. It was nice technique to be able to hold on for that catch and stay in bounds, but he didn't go very far. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. To throw. It's Foboda. Let's it go quickly. And it's complete downfield. The stop made at the five. The offense will have first and goal now. Well, you talk about a huge conversion. That's third and long. It doesn't matter for these guys. They just keep going about their business. Great connection. 
between this quarterback and receiver on that one. And now they're in business. The offense in scoring position with a new set of downs. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Looking for six. And it's picked off in the end zone. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points. At the very least, a field goal. They got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here doesn't come back to bite them. Here comes the UNLV offense back out there. They came up empty on the last position, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? There's the handoff. That game moves the ball out from near the 25. That game makes it second and medium. They'll feed the back again. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Offense looking to convert on third and short in the 27. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And he's going to float this one to the right side. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. And the return man decides to signal. And they'll start the drive here from the 23-yard line. Looking to throw. It's Foboda. Catch hauled in here over the middle. They bring him down quickly. A short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Chris, this guy has a big time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. And the one moves the ball up to the 33. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. That run sets up a critical third down play. Can he make it to the marker? They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. Yeah, I love how the back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it was third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And the quarterback dropping back, looking for the wide out. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. Man, when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive, how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. Tackle made after just a short game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Quick throw to the left side. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. This offense has become a first down machine. And that's so demoralizing for a defense, especially for those star players who don't sub out as much. But the fourth quarter really starts to wear you out. Looking for a gap, it's Scott. And tackled after a small pickup there. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held him just at two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. After the second down incompletion, they'll have to convert here on third down and eight. To throw, it's Boboda. Receiver makes the catch. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. 
That's a great feeling when your quarterback can make a throw that keeps the drive alive. Not as good as a touchdown, but it's a lot better than having to trot over to the sideline waiting for your turn to get another chance. Movement here from the tight end. Ball handed to the running back. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Pass Buck. Can he get in? And they stopped him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. We reached the two-minute warning. We'll have to see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Red Zone's been a struggle. Three points in three possessions down here. Can they find the end zone on second and goal? Looking for six. And it's incomplete in the very back of the end zone. The incompletion sets up a third and goal from the three. They'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. But well, great stop here by this defense to bring us to fourth down and decision time for the head coach. You go the easy route with a field goal, or this close to the goal line, you take a chance and try to get that touchdown. And the coach keeps the offense on the field. They're going for it on fourth and goal. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Wyoming. Methodical but effective, Kirk. Probably one of the most impressive drives we've seen in the conference championship game. Hey, I have to agree with you. Long drives like that are like a great painting. Slowly layering all the intricate facets until you have a masterpiece completed. That drive was put together. Here's the point after attempt. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Now they get set to kick it away. He's going to try for a return from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Returner tackle right there. That's where they'll start the drive. Here comes the Rebels offense back out on the field. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. Caught over the middle. It's Rodgers. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. Catch made. It's a big play inside the 30. Steps out of bounds after a huge pickup. But hang on. There is a penalty marker on the play. This one might be coming back. A big game, and the offense will obviously decline the penalty. First down and 10 now. Dropping back. It's Fernandez. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. The tackle is made, but the offense is now set up with a first and goal from the eight. A chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. And the offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. This will be a challenge. Second and goal for the 14. Quarterback drops back. Looking to the end zone. And it's incomplete. Very near the goal line. And the offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. 
And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. So they're short on fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. Kick is good. It gives the offense three points to show for that drive. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So they settled for three, and now the kickoff. We'll see if the opposing offense has enough time to answer before halftime. Return begins inside the 10. Stop at the 20. And your Wyoming Cowboys will take over first and 10. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. They've got to be pleased with their performance here in the first half. Let's see if they just play it cautious and get to the break in front. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Boy, positive yards there on first and 10. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second and inches. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. We figured we might get a Mountain West championship that would have social media buzzing. And through two quarters of football, indeed, that is the case. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top.
right, let's get the second half going now. The kickoff team is out there. Bringing it out, it's Parks. To be tackled at the 17 strong. At the 17, and your Wyoming Cowboys will take over first and 10. So Wyoming's offense gets back out onto the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. A great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. And he'll pick up the first down, stop at the 27. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And the pass is complete to the tight end. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Offense will keep it on the ground here. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. And that will pick up the first down. They'll spot it at 38. How impressive these guys been up front today. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. The pre-snap motion from the offense. He'll hand it off. He's brought down out at the 46. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Back behind the quarterback, a line in a pistol. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Quick throw to the left side. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. Well, it's a great catch near the sideline and does a good job of getting that foot down to secure the catch. New center down to the offense, first and 10. Looking to pass, it's Voboda. And he's got it. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. The UNLV offense back out on the field now. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback.
after the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. Here's the snap, looking to throw. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And the runner brought down, but looks like there's a flag on the field. Let's see what this is about. It stings for the offense. Penalty will cost him 10 yards. Important second down play coming up. Takes the handoff, runs it off left tackle. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Third down, the offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Dropping back, it's Fernandez. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. And the deep shot falls incomplete, but wait, there is a flag on the play, so we'll check that out. So the offense obviously will decline the penalty and take the result of the play. The drive ends and the punt team on the field. Bringing you back, it's Parks. They finally get him down, but that's a... First down play call. How aggressive will it be? On the run, it's Scott. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Short pass finds the tight end. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. The tight end has got it. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. Well, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. And the single back takes the handoff. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Second down play coming up for this offense. The offense with some pre-snap motion. And here's the handoff. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line. But give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Heading left after the handoff. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. The back behind the quarterback now in the pistol. To the air, it's Boboda. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Wyoming! Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right call. Lining up to try the extra point. They convert the PAT, so the lead is now 21. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. 
Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the UNLV offense back out there. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Getting set. Here's second down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. He'll take a deep shot here. Downfield shot falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. The punter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. And he's going to launch it deep again. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be... And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And he's got it. Touchdown, Rebels. Well, that's just textbook right there. Great timing and recognition by the quarterback. Great route by this receiver. He gave a nice stem to the outside before he went to the post. Perfect timing, tough to defend, and an easy touchdown for this offense. Now the important point after attempt. The extra point is good, but down now 14, 24-10. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Doesn't bring the kick out. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Runs through the defender. Breaking free at the 35. They'll head out of bounds after another big game. They have chewed up this defense with the ground game today. One play moves the ball to the 45. It'll be first down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Well, let's give credit to the offensive line here. They went with a run blitz. The offensive line sees it, picks it up, gives them enough room to pick up some solid yards. Wyoming has the lead here. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. Here we go, first play of the quarter. Offense setting up for a second down play. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. Fresh set of downs, it's first and 10. They're going to run it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. 
Boy, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Second down after that previous play. Change of pace now looking to throw the football. Receiver makes the grab. Tackle made, but the game moves the ball to the 30. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. It's a first and 10 play coming up for the offense. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Gonna run it. It's Scott. And he's stopped after gaining four yards. So second and six. Now I like the run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Takes the handoff again. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Back to pass. It's Boboda. Trying to get the throw off. Pass ball is incomplete, but there's a flag. Will it keep the drive alive? Obviously, the defense will decline that penalty on the offense and take the result of that play. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. And the importance of this attempt, if he makes it, it's now a three-score game. The attempt is no good. He missed it. And the lead remains at 14 after the miss. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They'll run it here. Some hard running there through a tackle. Solid run. They'll bring it down to the 28-yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. And the deep shot falls incomplete, but there's a penalty marker on the field. Fifteen yard defensive pass interference. That player will get an earful on the sidelines. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Fernandez. The ball is caught. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. That short completion sets up a third down play. Oh, looks like the defense jumped offside there. If that's the case, this will be a first down. Mental mistake for the defense. That'll cost him five yards. So, first and ten for the offense after that crucial mistake by the defense. Looking for some space. It's Thomas. Ball carrier brought down, but a flag's on the field. Let's check out this call. So, it looks like the penalty will be accepted by the head coach, and the offense will pick up some yardage there. An inside give now from the shotgun. Defense stops him, but that's a solid gain. Second down after that run on the previous play. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Thompson. He's sworn by the defense. Critical third down play for this offense right here. They'll try the option play here. Tackle made, but there's a flag down on the field. Oh, 
So the offense will decline the penalty and just take the result of that play. Here we go. Fourth down. They'll try to run for it. Fourth down stop. Well, I don't blame the offensive coordinator here. It's the right thing to do down a couple scores. They just didn't execute. Hey, guys up front lined up. It's first down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. Picks up a short game, but is swarmed by the defense flying to the football. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? To the air, it's Foboda. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. The punt team making their way on the field. See if he can make something happen with the return. Return of wide down. The UNLV offense back out on the field now. Last possession, they went for it on fourth down, but got stoned. Let's see what they can do this time. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. The short completion of the tight end. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. It went backwards on first down, so second and long from the 24. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game, and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. Airing this one out toward the sideline. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Trying for a fourth down completion. Looking for his big tight end. And it's incomplete. They go for this, but they just couldn't come up with the execution. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. They'll work the clock here with the running game. And the defense able to hold in there to a short game. Chris, good job here on this stop. But remember, the ball is inbounds, and the clock keeps moving here late in the game, and you're trailing. As a defense, you got to start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. you got all three to use. At what point are you going to start putting those into play? Keeping it on the ground here. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. The defense now backed up in their own red zone. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. 
And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. The defense with pre-snap movement of its own. Now it's second down here. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. The ball is loose. Offense keeps possession, recovers the fumble. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Here comes a handoff. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. He missed it. Off the miss, the lead is still 14, a two-possession game. That's yeah, a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least, three points, but instead, he shanks it. Last time out there, they got stopped on fourth down, but it didn't cost him anything. Let's see what the mindset is here. Back to throw. It's Fernandez. Looks left and finds his target there. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. First down, looking to throw the ball. Let's it fly out of the wide out. It's caught downfield. And a big gain moves the ball across midfield all the way to the 39. First down, looking to throw the football. And they heave it deep downfield. Oh, a nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Looking to throw it again. Pressure is coming. Tries to avoid the rush and just gets rid of it. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. This was a promising drive, but back-to-back -back incompletions makes it third and ten. Fires it to the wideout. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Oh, and it's incomplete right there. Well, that'll do it, Chris. This defense has played well the entire game. It's very fitting here on this fourth down play in the fourth quarter. Under two minutes to go. They step up again. Give them the game ball. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback. He told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But, man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. Here's the handoff. He breaks the tackle. Now he's got room to run. The freshman brought down after a nice run. Just a great play by the running back here, finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. Talk about a perfect ending to a regular season, becoming champions of the Mountain West. They made their case now, and with a conference championship in tow, it's going to come down to what the committee decides to do if they'll get an invite to the college football playoff.
And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
The Cowboys are the 2025 Mountain West Conference champions. The Cowboys suffered no significant injuries in today's game. The Wyoming Cowboys are the 11th seed in the college football playoff and will take on the 6th seed Texas Longhorns in Austin next week.